In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to cleanse your body with a lemon. So this is a spiritual cleansing and you're only going to need three ingredients. I did a video on how to cleanse your house, your relationships, your just everything in general with the lemon and that video is already up if you guys are interested in that. That's basically a cleansing for everything all around. This is specifically for the body. So a lot of you requested for me to show you guys how I do mine. So that's what I'm going to be doing. This is specifically for a lot of you that have been probably experiencing blocks, confusion, feeling lost, um, negative energy, just evil eye maybe. Uh, maybe somebody sending you evil eye, um, sending you negative energy, talking about you. Maybe you just feel off, low vibration, or just all around want a pick me up and refresh your energy. This is perfect. The reason that I'm doing this for myself personally is because I'm going through a healing phase of something and it, I just feel like I want to get the most healing I can get out of it and the, like I just want it done. <laughs> I just want it done. So that's why I'm doing this to heal protect get rid of any blockages get rid of anything that is preventing me from Getting what I want and so that's why I'm doing this for myself now um, Let's get into it. So here's what you're going to need for this cleansing. You're going to need a lemon and you're going to need garlic either garlic powder garlic peels or a whole uh, clove. It's up to you what you want to use, or even dried garlic, minced garlic, crushed garlic. Make sure it's just garlic. Um, and then you're gonna need salt. If you have black salt, uh, that's good. You could use black salt, that's really good. Um, I'm gonna be making more black salt very soon. It should be up in my store by the time I upload this video, hopefully. You can use regular salt, sea salt, just basically any salt um, that you can get your hands on and you're going to need a knife and then let's get started. So in the previous video where I showed you how to cleanse your home and cleanse basically like a general cleanse of everything, I did share with you more in-depth details. So make sure to check that video out because there's lots of information in that video that you're going to use in this video and it's it's really useful information. So the first thing you want to do is cleanse all your ingredients and all your items because you don't know who touched it in the store, what kind of energy they had. So that's the first thing. How do you cleanse it? You can use incense, sage, um, cold water, salt water. Uh, and then the next thing you want to do after that is take your lemon and you want to charge your lemon up and basically how you do that is you communicate with the energy of your ingredients. You're going to be charging all your ingredients. Uh, for us today, it's going to be the lemon, the salt, and the garlic. Um, and you're going to just be telling it what it's going to do for you. Basically, in the previous video, I mentioned that like, say you, you're using snake skin for a ritual. For some people, snake skin could be used for shedding the old and shedding the past. But you have to awaken that energy within that ingredient. For some people, snake skin could be used to make somebody come crawling back. There's two different energies in the same thing. So you need to like activate the energy that you are wanting to manifest. So for this lemon, we want to use this for cleansing, purification, removing blockages you know, all of that stuff, removing the negative energy, removing evil eye, removing anything that does not belong, that doesn't serve, that it's just not good. We want it out. Okay. So that's what you're going to do. You can even carve in the lemon, your name, uh, and your birth date. Um, okay. So the first version is going to be for yourself. The second version is going to be for those of you that are in a relationship. Okay. So let's, let's start. First thing you're going to do is charge up your lemon. This is for cleansing and purification. Okay, and then if this is for yourself, then you want to carve your name and birth date on one side of the lemon. If this is not for yourself, this is for like two of you, then you wanna cut the lemon in half. On one side is going to be your name and your date of birth. On the other side is going to be their name and their date of birth. 
that's only just for if you're doing it for two people. If you're doing it for one person, you're only using half a lemon. So the other half, you could save it or go to my previous video and you could use the other half to do this for your home. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do is get a knife. So this is an athame that um, belongs to me and my boyfriend. We have charged this up with both of our energies and we use this for a lot of our rituals and stuff. And like it's, it's very special to us. So I'm going to be using this. Now what you're going to do is cut your lemon in half. Oh, you're also gonna need a glass jar. That is actually, We'll get into that because you may not need the glass jar depending on if you, you decide to use the glass jar method or there's another way you could do this. So we'll get into that a little bit later in the video. But here we go. It smells so good. That's the, that's, whoo, the smell of lemon smells so good. You get, now that you have your lemon cut, you're gonna decide what you're gonna be doing with this. Is this for yourself only? Um, or is this for couples or partners? So Make sure you grab the one that has your name and your birthday. You don't have to carve it into the lemon. I usually don't because the next step is good enough for this ritual itself. Now that your lemon is cut in half, you're going to take your garlic pieces, garlic powder, whatever garlic uh, you choose to use, and you're going to shove that into the lemon. Okay? It doesn't like just it doesn't have to be all the way, just as long as the lemon holds it in. So the next one, I'm going to just shove that in there. Oh, so I did charge the garlic off camera, um, but make sure you also charge the garlic. Um, the next thing you're going to do is, if this is for yourself, you're probably just gonna be using one of the lemon. The other one you're going to wanna do around your house, and you, for that one, go check out the other video with the cloves in it, that's for the home, and this is for the body. So that's if you're deciding to do this for your home and your body. If you're deciding to do this for you and your partner, then what you're gonna do is, if you already carved it, make sure you use the right one for the right person. What you're gonna do is take the lemon and the peel side down, because you don't want the garlic to pop out. Make sure when you do this, the garlic doesn't really pop out. It's okay if it does, but um, just keep in mind where on your body you're doing this and the garlic pops out. Pay attention to those kinds of things. Okay, so say like you're about to rub it like over your throat chakra area and it pops out. You get what I'm saying? Throat chakra. Um, yeah, so what you wanna do is just rub it all over your body, all over, okay? Hands, feet, butt, <laughs> stomach, back, uh, your hair, the top of your head. You want to cleanse all over your body and while you are rubbing this on your body you want to just keep saying what you're what this is supposed to do you have to communicate remember you're you cleansing the negative energy cleansing the blocks removing toxicity removing the negativity removing past programming removing blocks like just everything that you want to get rid of you want to speak it as you take it off of you with the lemon basically that's what we're doing um, and then the next thing, this is, I forgot to mention that if you're doing this with your partner, you're, you're gonna have, your partner has to be on board. They're gonna have to be willing to do that too. Um, <laughs> and I know not a lot of people out there are going to just like let you do something like this to them. So your partner does have to be on board if you do something like this with them. So what this is gonna do, now the next one is going to be for them. So you're going to tell them to do the same thing. Just rub it all over their body, um, everywhere, their toes, hands, you know, just everywhere. And then what you're gonna do is, if this is just for you, then you're just gonna put that in a bowl, glass bowl, glass jar, whatever. And you're going to get your salt and you're going to sprinkle your salt all around it because as this is absorbing that energy and trapping it into the lemon and the garlic is really trapping it in there, um, you want to put the salt around there so that it does stay trapped in there. And then we'll get into the discarding of it and all that in a little bit. But if you are doing this for two people, say it's you and your partner, right? So you're going to put this in the jar. You're gonna put it in one one glass jar. So make sure that um, you do get something that fits. And 
kind of uh, keep arranging it so it kind of fits nicely. And then what you're going to do is take the salt. I like to use a lot of salt. Um, because afterwards you can also read the salt. Sometimes there's images or symbols or something in the salt that may pop out at you. So I like to use a lot of salt. You want to infuse and charge your salt for protection, purification, removing obstacles, removing blocks, removing negative energy, and removing evil eye. And you just gonna drop it all around the bowl, like we did with the other one. You can decide to use this bowl method where you put the lemons in a glass bowl, a glass jar, like something like that, or a plate with the salt around it, or you can put one underneath your mattress, or not your mattress, underneath your bed. Just make sure your pets and like ki little kids can't get to it. Make sure like, you know, that doesn't happen because it's absorbing your negative energy. Um, and then one underneath your partners, if you are doing this for you and your partner, you can put it underneath both of your sides of the bed, under the, yeah, under the bed, and then wait for it to dry. If you can wait for it to dry completely, that would be best. Then you just want to throw it away outside of your house. So the garbage can outside of your house. And if you can't keep it until it dries, then try to keep it at least for three days or three nights. Um, and if it's not for you and your partner, then it's just for you, then same thing. Just put it underneath your bed. Make sure nothing, no one gets to it and keep it there until it dries up completely and then throw it away outside. So that's basically it. That, this is specifically for getting rid of dull, stagnant energy around yourself. Um, you know, just low vibrations, negative energy accumulated, evil eye, stuff like that. So this is really, really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it useful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for requesting this. And with that being said, I will talk to you real soon. Bye.